aquí el hombre excelente, bueno, muy servicial. Bienvenido siempre a la Guajira, hombre, y ojalá disfruten de estos bellos paraísos. Claro que sí. Es Feliz día para todos. Muchísimas gracias. Welcome back, friends, to South America and Colombia. I'm on the way up to something called Puta Galenas in South America and Colombia, of course. And um, I'm on a tour with with some uh, Frenchmen and mostly Colombians. Was uh, yeah, four Colombians and one French girl and then me for three days. It cost me 200 US dollars <laughs> and uh, everything was included. The transportation, the food. The only thing that didn't was not included was uh, that you have to buy candy and coffee for the local people. You will see that through this video that, you, uh, that we give out uh, candy and coffee to the uh, through, through the locals in this area and here I'm in a local house up in the north and uh, soon you will see a, tradi a traditional dance here with the locals and yeah and here you see the map of where the region that I'm in and uh, yeah So here you have the local dance, like a, a love dance between a, va a woman and a man, they told us. But everything was in Spanish, so you n I really need to practice my Spanish when I was in Colombia. But it was good. I understand quite a lot of Spanish, but I, my speaking word of Spanish is not that great. <laughs> So this was the first day on this tour. So now we are in the next day. You see here that we're giving candy or coffee to the local people here. So they uh, are open like a like a border or what you can call. So they are, are it's a super poor area. So you buy candy and coffee. I don't know if this is the best but we, we are not allowed to give them money so we are only allowed to give them uh, coffee and candy and yeah snacks food uh, biscuits and that kind of stuff so but no money and some people are al also selling uh, like bags and that kind of stuff so you can buy good souvenirs up in this area for a very affordable price yeah, but we are on the way. It was a lot of uh, sitting in the jeep, and you you need to do this area with a tour. You you are not allowed to do with your own car, so you need to have a tour up here. And you see the lady with the bags, and here is like the I don't know what what to call really in English, <laughs> a border? No, not border, not border control. Like, it's like a control. Like you, ha you have to pay, pay with your candy and coffee to pass through this area. But the beach here, wow. You see the water here is amazing. Like the color. Now my camera is not the greatest. So uh, yeah. Here is the food, the local food. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have to f help the car getting up from <laughs> some, some time, sometimes. Yeah. But soon we will reach the, the Potacalenas. And, 
the the views here is yeah it's great and now we are up in Porta Calenas after two days of just driving 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 oh, yeah, we are up here but we, yeah two days yeah. and we slept in hammocks in the local places it was yeah it was it was a cool experience one of the coolest experiences in South America I can say because you of course we are not interacting with the locals but you see another another view from how people living in South America and Colombia and now we are heading back to Rio Hacha and uh, the last day was just almost just driving, driving, driving. It, we stopped for lunch uh, close to Rihacha, but it was just driving, driving, driving. So now I'm back in Rihacha and I'm on my way back to Palomino actually. I stopped in Palomino for one night. Uh, before I went to Santa Marta and I spent some days in Santa Marta. I also met up with a friend in my Santa Marta called Sophie, a Swedish friend. She, she was also traveling in South America at this moment. So we met in Peru and Colombia. Uh, but first I'm going to Palomino by myself. You see this car. It was like a taxi. <laughs> it was a, yeah, I don't know. How, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but First I took a bus, but the bus was not on. Oh, we are not going to Palomino, so you have to take this taxi. But it was the same for us. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fun. It was an old, an old, very old car, but it was function. Uh, yeah, back in Palomino, you know what, we, you, you know what, I did in Palomino, yeah, at the beach, I was at the beach. But now we are in Tarona Park a few days later, like a week later or something. I spent a lot of, I spent some days in Santa Marta actually. But in uh, Tarona Park, you could find a nudist beach actually also. It's very, very famous for that. Uh, and also this is... Cabo in the Tirana Park. It was uh, Tirana Park was also one of my favorite part of uh, of Colombia. And here is the camping site that we stayed in uh, in Tirana Park. It cost us around uh, eight eight US dollars per night for a hammock and uh, it was maybe 20 minutes from the beach so this was in the middle of the jungle you can also say at the beach but then you have to pay may maybe around 20 euros uh, 20 US dollars so we are of course we are on the budget so we we walked here but I think it's worth to pay the extra and also it's all also very popular at the beach in uh, in Tyrone Park, so you have to book in advance, and and as you know, I did not book anything in advance. I I booked this the night before we went on a WhatsApp telephone number. It was a, but it was a very good service, and they they don't speak any that much English. But <laughs> but now we are in at the nudist beach. Of course, I'm wearing clothes because I'm a little bit shy. <laughs> but now I'm back in Santa Marta again. So first we went to Tyrona Park and then we went back to Santa Marta because we had to take out more money. And then we went up to something called Minka. Uh, Minka was a very relaxed place for coffee plantation, chocolate, uh, cacao, caca, cacao plantation. Uh, it was a very chill place. Spend like I was only there for two days because it was so chilled. But the, I think people go up there to do yoga and just to relax. Let's say in, in, 
affordable uh, mountain resort uh, what is yeah well, now we are going up to a cocoa plantation and we are on we, we are going to do a cocoa tour route here so soon you will see everything how to make chocolate real chocolate <laughs> Uh. Okay, do you want chocolate? Yes. Yeah, but do you try the real one? Yes. yes. In okay. Belgium, we have the best chocolate. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take it. Oh, I found it. Or I'm ashamed. Okay? So you can take a look here. This is a cacao fruit, uh, ripe one. And to open it, we need to cut it with a knife so you can take all of the seeds from the cacao, okay? Um, you see uh, this um, fruit. I mean, it, this is like a shell, okay? This is not used to eat. Like, this one, it tastes really bad. Some people use it as a recipe. Okay. <laughs> Don't try it. Okay. Okay. So we put the fire, and now the machine is going to spin like a laundry machine, so it doesn't burn in a tight place. Question, guys, where are you going? The real one, the real next week. Yeah, 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 one week or something. <laughs> <laughs> You see me getting a little bit younger <laughs> with chocolate. <laughs> but now it's the end of this video. So I'm now I did spend around two weeks up in the north around Santa Marta with Tirona, Rio Hacha, and then all. Yeah, in the north part of Colombia. So now I'm actually in the next video. I'm going into an area that is very close to the Darien Gap. Uh, so that is the I am on the way to the Darien Gap. Of course, I, I will not go into the Darien Gap. Uh, I will go to a beach town that is very close to to the Darien Gap and Panama. Uh, so I, I I will see you will see in the next video what's happening uh, but here I'm going on the night bus here of course <laughs> night bus is night bus this was uh, like a 12 hour night bus so first you have to take going to something called Monteria and after that you will see where I'm going in the next video actually will be one more video from Colombia before we going back to Sweden so see you in the next video and uh, have a great time yay ciao